handle and cutoff sleds can be great at the table saw, providing they're made right. If the fence on the sled isn't perfectly square to the miter slot, there's no way for it to make a square cut. The five-step process described in this video is a very accurate way of making sure that your fence is properly aligned. First we need to determine how big of a piece we can use for making the cuts. On my PM2000 I can use a piece 14 to 16 inches square, but check your saw, it might be a little different. After cutting the blank to size, I draw a layout line so I know where to place the blade to make the cuts. We want the blade to stay fully engaged, so I draw the layout lines about a half an inch in from the edge. After drawing the layout line on all four edges, I go back to the edge that will be cut first and add another line another half an inch in. This line will be for the fifth and final cut. With a straight edge against the fence, I go around the board and number all four edges. When we make the cuts, we have to turn the board in a clockwise direction so we always have a fresh edge against the fence. So when we add numbers, we go in a counterclockwise direction to keep them right. With the number one edge at the blade, we go ahead and align the layout marks, make sure it's flat against the fence, and we make the first four cuts, rotating the board in a clockwise motion between each cut. After each cut, let the saw stop completely before retrieving the cutoff piece. The cutoff pieces from the first four cuts are all thrown away. The only one we want to save is from the fifth and final cut. Before making the final cut, we want to mark the piece that will be cut off with front, the edge farthest away from you, and rear, the edge that's against the fence. Make sure that the test piece is firmly against the fence and the layout line is at the edge of the sled, and go ahead and carefully make that last cut. Remember to shut the saw off and let the blade stop before you retrieve this piece. We don't need to break this one or our fingers. Carefully measure the forward edge of the cutoff piece from the fifth cut. Get that reading and write it down. The front edge of this stick measured 0526, so we'll write that one down. Now we'll turn the cutoff end for end and measure the rear end. Take your time and get these measurements right. You can see here that I had the calipers just a little bit cocked on the piece. I didn't get the right reading to start with, but I went back, squeezed the caliper shut and make sure I was tight on them, and got the second reading. Comparing the front to the rear readings shows us that we have a cumulative error of just over a thousandth across the whole edge of the piece. Trying to fix this error would mean moving the fence around four ten thousandths of an inch. We're going to call this one perfect and let it ride. I intentionally cut this piece with a serious taper so it would be more clear when we try to explain what happens here. If the front of the cutoff piece is the widest, that tells you that the fence is angled towards the blade. If the rear of the cutoff piece is the widest, then the fence is angled away from the blade. Either way, you make very small corrections and repeat the test. If you take your time with this test, make small corrections and recheck them to be sure they're right, your sled can make perfect cuts every time.